yeah, 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 yeah. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Damn D, and I'm back with another video, man. So make sure if you're new to the channel, hit that like button one time for the one time. And if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. Thank you kindly. Now, we got another video. <laughs> Woo, Shannon Sharp, boy. Like I said, thank you for all this content. Because I'm going to milk you like the cow that you are. Now, we got Eddie Griffin. I want to play this video because what KB said, what Kwame Brown said, is what a lot of people said. KB is not the only one that feels this type of way about you know, LeBron James, yeah, he's a great athlete, but he's not the GOAT. All that GOAT talk, nah, miss me with that. But that doesn't take away from him being, you know, top 10. I say top 10, definitely not top five. Well, that's just my opinion. If you want to put him top five, top five, but I say top 10. But that doesn't mean that he's not great. But he just ain't Kobe. He just ain't Jordan. He definitely ain't Kobe. And he definitely ain't Jordan. But we all know what KB said. So let's listen to it. Eddie Griffin. Eddie Griffin saying. Uh, and let's see if he's. Let's just see what he got to say. Now, keep in mind, this is right after LeBron James got swept. So this is Eddie Griffin's reaction right when LeBron James got swept by the Denver Nuggets. Well, well, Denver has brought the brooms out on the Lakers. Y'all um, yep. know. Y'all know. Yep. I mean, I don't know how they did it because it was still, you know, five, five against eight. Um, I want LeBron James tested for drugs. A 31-point first half, this nigga need to be tested for drugs. How the fuck this 57-year-old nigga gonna hit 31 points in the first half? He need to be tested for drugs. Hmm. Haven't we heard that before? So, and this is, like I said, this is right when the Lakers lost the game. So, Eddie Griffin was saying this way before, I think, KB even made his video, right? <laughs> That's number one. That's why he ran out, out, out off the field before the second half was even over. His heart was racing. And, and you know when they, the, the team is on the, on them barbiturates and the, all the motherfucking enhancing-ass drugs, it, it's going to crash in the second half. I believe Bron, Bron had, what, four points in the second half? Maybe, maybe six. You know what I mean? How the motherfucker come out? 31 points. And then <laughs> two to three to four, nigga. Them, them drugs wore off. <laughs> allegedly. You know, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. And he's asking, he's asking, give me some more drugs. Like, nigga, you gonna blow your heart up. We can't get no more. Can't get no more. <laughs> and that's what happened. That's what happened to the Lakers. That's what happened, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Le LeBron ran out of the dope, nigga. And, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, AD was doing what he could, but, you know, that Yoakum. That Yoakum, Yoakum, Yoakum. I don't know. I don't know where they found this white boy. Somewhere in Russia, Ukraine, somewhere. He over there where the wars is at. Like, this motherfucker been baptized like a motherfucker. Uh, the Lakers, yeah, they, they need a heart check because I didn't see no pulse. Facts. I believe this settles the debate on who's the greatest, uh, LeBron or Michael Jordan. Nigga, Michael Jordan would have flew. What a flu to dunk on everybody on that Denver Nuggets squad, nigga. Michael Jordan, nigga, I don't know where LeBron was in the second half. He always disappears right in plain sight. Always, man. You know, everybody want to talk about LeBron this, LeBron that. Look, LeBron is a great player, but he ain't got that dog in him, man. He ain't got that fight. He ain't got the heart like a Kobe, like a Jordan. Look, Kobe will go f five of 30. He going to get them shot ups. He going to at least try, but he ain't going to just be passive and, and just not try. I mean, hey, the best thing you can do is just throw that thing in the air. If it go in, if it go, if it don't go in, hey, as long as you try. There's been countless of times that LeBron James has just quit and disappeared in the fourth quarter. Disappear, meaning not even taking shot attempts. Not even 
trying, being way too passive. That's what we're talking about here. So that's when we're talking about, you know, if, if you're trying to do this GOAT status, nah, man, you cannot be passive and be a GOAT. You can be passive and just be a great player. Yeah. But if you want to be number one, number two, no, 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 no. You got to put the team on your back. And there's been countless of times that LeBron James has gone missing in the fourth quarter. Y'all don't remember that Miami? Oh, Dallas series? Oh, Boston series? I mean, we can go on and on about how many times LeBron James has just completely disappeared in the fourth quarter. But y'all want to say he's better than Jordan. <laughs> and y'all want to say he's better than Kobe. <laughs> in the second half. I had sight. In the second half. No. To dunk on everybody on that Denver Nuggets squad. Heart check because I didn't see no pulse. And I believe this settles the debate on who's the greatest uh, LeBron or Michael Jordan. Nigga, Michael Jordan would have flew. <laughs> would have flew to dunk on everybody on that Denver Nugget squad, nigga. Nice. Michael Jordan, nigga, I don't know where LeBron was mm. in the second half. Mm. He always disappears right in plain sight right. in the second half. Nice. I had friends of mine from Cleveland, and you know, they were asking the phone. In the first half, when when the Lakers was up, you know they they all LeBron Brian fans. I was like, oh okay. They answered the phone. Soon as they started, I kept calling, calling, calling. I seven, <laughs> eight times, no answer, no answer. <laughs> but I made every last one of the motherfuckers say, Michael Jordan is the greatest of all time. <laughs> Talk that talk, Eddie. Talk that talk, man. So, what's the difference, man? There's been numerous of people that are saying the same thing. So, Shannon Sharp, why you ain't come at uh, Eddie Griffin like this? And I'm gonna and I'm gonna bring up more videos, more professional athletes that said the same thing Eddie Griffin said. But why did why did he feel the need to, to go on? Uh, undisputed and to disrespect Kwame Brown like that. You ain't had to disrespect that man like that. You just could have agreed to disagree. No, Kwame Brown, I don't agree with your opinion. This is what I think. This is how I feel. Boom, bada, boom. Yeah, but you just went off left field and you completely disres disrespected this whole man career, which was totally unnecessary. All that disrespect. You ain't had to do that. You could have just gave your opinion, say that, no, I don't believe this and that, and that, and that, and, and everything would have been too legit to quit. But since you leading with disrespect, now you're getting disrespect. So y'all leave a comment down below, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. Salute to Eddie Griffin. Uh, he spoke the truth, man. LeBron James, he always comes up missing in the fourth quarter. But yeah, y'all want to call him the GOAT. <laughs> yeah, all right. He's the greatest of all time in three quarters. <laughs> How about that? How about that? If y'all want to put LeBron James the GOAT, fine. He's the greatest player of all time that plays three quarters. <laughs> it's your boy DMD signing out, man. Peace.